Every foot that the film is on the screen has to be there for a reason. We're there to tell that, to put that script on the screen, not to show how good we could make it look or how beautiful a designer we are or how great a cinematographer we are. I tend to like to, uh, to d describe a moment in a script as simple as possible and as directly as possible. When you start, you're very excited about certain things in the business and you're very excite excited about camera movement and you're, you're very excited about lighting and you often try to uh, make things overly beautiful or, or shall I say overly photographic uh, um, by um, doing dramatic lighting or, or maybe dramatic camera angles or dramatic camera movement and you're imposing something artificial, I think, on information. And as I've gotten, um, uh, I've, as I've learned more, I've discovered that I shouldn't impose anything on the information. I, well, I always ask myself, what do we need to say to them, meaning the audience? And then once I figure that out, can I make it better? Can I make, do I need to them to feel something um, uh, more intense and how can I make them feel that? Is it something that the performance has to, to bring out or is it something I could do? I'm always weary of the fact of making things too beautiful and too photographic. And I, I tend to shy away from uh, uh, glamorous lighting or, uh, um, you know, unmotivated lighting. It's very easy to let the form, uh, uh, the, co the, the technique, um, overshadow the content. Uh, so I, I just want to be careful of that. And I, I've been to very beautiful movies. I've seen it, some of the most beautiful movies I've seen. Uh, haven't been very good. When you're younger, when you're starting, everything is, all the decisions are conscious and deliberate and somewhat deliberate. I'm going to do this today. I'm going to maybe make a weird frame or, or an interesting frame. But now something else has happened where it becomes like, uh, there's no thought, there's thought, but it's not thought. You look in the viewfinder and I don't, you move the camera and now it's almost unconsciously or unaware of what, how you're framing. It's like learning to ride a bike. You, you're very aware of how to ride a bike, but once you learn how to ride a bike, I don't think you're thinking about pedaling or holding the handlebars right, you're just, doing it and I think that's when a person becomes good at their craft any craft you know be it a carpenter or a cook or anything and this is a craft can we speak with images of course I mean I think the best cinema is Cinema, cinema with images and not words. You know, that's the purest form of cinema. The most powerful cinema I've seen has been the cinema that is just images, is great images. I mean, that's the trick, is to try to tell it cinematically. And that's what makes setting up a scene and doing a scene very difficult. Like, it's really easy, and I think what people are taught is to do these, especially in dialogue scenes, do a two shot and then go in and do, and I try to avoid that all the time. And I try to, uh, to let it all become one thing. Photography and cinematography are so different, you know. Um, it's, that's such a different form. Still photography is just a, one second, 
you know, it's just a second, whereas, and if you look at a second of film, most of the times it doesn't look good, you know? But uh, it's amazing that a second, that a still image can take your breath away and it's something you, you want to look at, want to maybe own, want to go back and see in a museum. Well, cinema, to me, is one of the most powerful forms of expression that I think uh, exists, you know, in our world today. It's much different than seeing a painting. It's much different than reading a book. It's much different than reading, uh, than listening to music. And, and in some ways, it's accumulation of all of those elements. I, there's a hundred answers to what is cinema. But uh, to me, cinema is this, this form of expression that's really um, dense and multi-layered and, and can touch a person on more levels than almost any other, than any other form of expression that I know of. And when it does that, and when it does it well, it, you have the sublime experience that I think is unequaled.